Hello everybody and welcome to part three of our Kaggle Data Science Bowl 2017 challenge. First pass through of the data. In the previous tutorial, we kind of started running through the data, but we still haven't seen it. We've seen some things that are scaring us as, as data scientists, but we still have not seen it. So today we are going to be looking at the data. So uh, first thing is we're going to be using matplotlib. You should already have it installed. If not, pip install matplotlib. If you don't know anything about matplotlib, you can come to pythonprogramming.net. You could search for matplotlib and you could go to the crash course or a much more uh, full holistic course would be the data um, visualization course here with tons of tutorials. Otherwise, if you're already familiar or you just want to learn along as we go, that's totally fine. Let's get started. So first we're going to import, uh, make sure I'm not falling off my screen here. Uh, let me make some more space. Great. So let me import matplotlib.py plot as plt. And for patient in patients, and we'll just do the first patient for now just to play with the data. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to say, and in fact, I probably could just rerun this. And I'm, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Uh, label, good, path, slices. We don't need to do uh, this anymore. We don't need to print it out. Um, but instead, we're going to use plt.mshow. And here you can pass um, the, the pixel arrays. So you can say slices zero dot pixel underscore array. And then I'm going to do plt.show. Uh, shouldn't be necessary if you did the whole matplotlib in line thing, but whatever. Oh, name plt not defined. What? Do, oh, did I skip? Oh, I probably overwrote the import. Okay, import matplotlib.py plot as plt. Try again. Fantastic. Now, I'm not a doctor. I don't know for certain that that's a lung scan, but it looks about right. I mean, it, you know, I'd, I'd probably guess that it is. So, so, um, okay, so now what we're going to do is, okay, we're, we're, we're relatively content with that scan, but again, we, we know that, well, there's a few things. One is um, we've got many of these scans, but also we know they're too big. So we have quite a few issues. Now, for the first resizing issue, i.e. the two-dimensional image resize, we should have no problem resizing that using OpenCV. OpenCV can resize this image. There might be some sort of NumPy uh, function that we could run if you know of one, let me know. Again, this is just my first pass through the data. I'm just going off of what I know exists. So, so if you know of a better way, by all means. I mean, if we don't have to import another, yet another library or install yet another library, that's ideal. Anyway, we are going to be using NumPy, so make sure you pip install uh, NumPy and CV2. I don't have any NumPy specific tutorials, but I do have OpenCV. You can come to the homepage, data analysis, image and video analysis. Uh, if it works, there we go. And uh, you can learn all about OpenCV and all the cool things you can do. All right, so once you have those things, let's get started. So I'm going to, I guess I'll just take this. I know I could probably just, maybe I'll just modify this one instead. Uh, so import map, okay, we're going to import CV2, import numpy as NP. We're going to set a single constant. That constant will be image, pix, size. For now, let's go with 150. That's still going to be way too big for a convnet. I mean, most people even on 2D images are doing like, I don't know, 30 by 30 or something. So a 3D 150 is, uh, you know, that's a little absurd. Uh, we're not going to keep that, but this is just for an example. So, okay. So now what we're going to do is for the patient, we got the slices. And instead of just seeing one slice, we want to see many slices. So let me, we'll hit enter here and let's do, uh, well, first, yeah, let's do fig equals plt.figure. And what we're going to do is use a little bit of programming ninja skills to just show all of these up in like a single matplotlib figure using a for loop. So ooh, what we're going to do is for num uh, each slice in enumerate. And we're, what we're going to enumerate is the slices. We're going to do, we're not going to do all the slices. We don't need to visualize all of the slices, but we'll do the first 12. Okay. Um, 
what we're gonna do colon and then we'll tab this over and then we're just gonna just to define a temporary figure we're gonna say y equals um, fig dot add underscore sub plot it'll be a three by four subplot grid and then the number of this subplot. So the way subplots work, again, you can learn more on the data viz series, but basically it starts with a grid and then what's the plot number in that grid that, you know, which one out of, you know, one through 12 is this one gonna be? Well, it's gonna be num plus one. So um, that's the figure that we're gonna plot that on. Now we're gonna say new, uh, new image is going to be, and I'm not sure, that's probably too small now for you, so let me zoom in a little bit just in case that's hard to read. We're gonna say uh, the new image is going to be a cv2.resize, and you resize, um, I'm pretty sure it's a numpy array, but I'm just gonna be absolutely certain, np.array each slice, so again, that's just each of the slices, each slice dot pixel array, which we've already seen what that does, so we're gonna resize. The first thing is, what are we resizing? The second thing will be, you know, the size. I'm super tempted to try to pass in the, well, we don't have all the data condensed anyway. You, we might, I don't know, if cv2.resize can do a 3D array. cv2, I'm gonna look it up. Like I said, it's gonna be raw. Let's see, cv2.resize. Map one, two, map one needs to be, it just says matrix. It doesn't say it has to be a 2D matrix. I wonder, I'm not gonna test that one. <laughs> um, Cause we'd have to also build all the slices into one. I mean, that shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know. If someone wants to try it, go for it. Um, that might work. Anyway. We're gonna just say, we're gonna go this, and then it was image, what was that constant? Image pick size, by that. So the dot pixel array is already a 2D array. Um, and so we're gonna resize this array into these dimensions. So whatever these dimensions are, we're gonna use the, an OpenCV function basically to just make it a 150 by 150. So we're just downsizing everything. This, this also, just for the record, does work if things aren't all the same size starting out. So that's why I was like, hmm, I wonder if that works 3D. I, I really don't know. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll ignore that for now. Uh, so anyways, we've got the new image. We are going to do y.imshow rather than slices zero. I'm going to say new image. And I'm going to, it won't be dot pixel array. It'll just be new image. And then we don't want a plt.show until the very end. And let's run that. See what we got. Hopefully no errors. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. So each of these is a slice in order, basically, as we're going down the line. Okay. So now I'm very confident that obviously we've got the scans. The colors are a little strange. So we're just going to take note that... We might need to normalize these at some point. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'd really want to bring up at the moment. Mostly just like the colors is probably suspect. We, you can do like um, cmap equal, I think you could just throw it in here. cmap equals gray. I think we can do that. Yeah. And that makes them all gray, but they're still lighter and darker. <laughs> like the, the, the computer doesn't care about the color. Um, so I'm not really sure that would be an issue with enough data. I don't really think that would be an issue. I really think our issue at the end of the day is going to be the data count. Okay. So we've solved the, you know, the size we solved, we solved this issue, but we still haven't solved this issue. And even more importantly, uh, I guess it's not there anymore, but we haven't solved, uh, let me do this, this issue where these are different sizes. So that's an issue that we're going to solve in the uh, next video. So if you have any questions or whatever up to this point, leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.